What is up guys? It is the Turtle Girl. Welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. Today's kind of a fun video. We're going to be talking about salmonella. So for real though, we are going to be talking about can turtles carry salmonella? How do you prevent getting it from your turtles if they do? Um, and also some common questions like are turtles dirty and do they smell? Because they all are kind of related. And the reason I chose to do this video today might just have a little bit of something to do with corona. I don't know. I just felt like we should talk about turtles and salmonella because it's something that people, some people actually don't know, some people do know. So first off, we'll start with the most important thing, which is salmonella. So yes, turtles do carry salmonella and it is absolutely possible for you to get sick from them. However, some people might take that and say, oh my gosh, I should never keep a turtle because they can give me salmonella. I'm going to tell you right now that I did a little bit of research and according to the CDC, which is the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, and on their website they had some information on salmonella and you can literally look this up and find this. It said in the United States there are over a million cases of salmonella and those end in a few hundred deaths which if you think from a million to a few hundred, there's a very big gap there. So most often, people don't die from this unless their immune systems are already kind of compromised. So for example, older people or very young children. Additionally, most of those cases come from food. So eating unproperly cooked or unproperly sanitized food is actually more likely to give you salmonella than your turtle. So I just want to put that into perspective before we talk a little bit more about turtles. So for turtles specifically, yes they can give you salmonella, but there are some very easy ways to prevent this from happening. First of all, if you touch your turtle or if you're cleaning your tank or anything, use common sense and when you're done, wash your hands. If you touch the turtle or even if you feed them or move something around, touch their water, just wash your hands and don't like drink their water or kiss your turtle or do anything like that because it is very possible that they have germs that they're carrying or that those germs are floating around in their tank and that by putting them on your hands and then your hands are touching your face, you could possibly contract it. So I'm not saying you cannot hold your turtles, but I would definitely advise not to put your face near your turtles. And then also with young children, I would be very hesitant to let them play with the turtle or be in a room where a turtle is roaming around unsupervised just because kids might think, oh, that thing is really cute. I want to give it a kiss. I want to hug it. I want to hold it. That can also be a potential area where they could get sick because they are allowing themselves to get into contact with them. But it's very easy to avoid by just washing your hands and using proper hygiene. Literally, that's all it is. So continuing with that, are turtles dirty? Because this kind of goes along with the same thing. People want to know if turtles, before they get them, they want to know, are they going to be dirty? Are they gross? Whatever. So are they dirty? Well, the short answer is yes. They literally live in and swim around in the water that they poop in. If that doesn't tell you enough. So basically, you think about turtles are in an aquarium, they're in an enclosed box, they're pooping in there, they are aquatic, and water can spread around those germs more readily. But as far as visually, if you're doing your job, keeping your tank clean, then your turtle won't really look dirty. Sometimes they grow algae on their shell, but that's not quite dirty. That's kind of like a natural thing. Anyway, I would say that germ-wise, turtles are dirty. I mean, they're animals. What are you expecting? But they're not gonna go around and make a mess of your house because they are in an enclosed tank. So if that's what you're wondering, will turtles make a mess of your house? Probably not because they are in their own tank, in their own space. Now finally, our turtles smell. Now this is a big one for those of you who have turtles or those of you who are thinking about getting turtles, wanna know either why is my turtle tank smelling or if I get a turtle, will it smell? Now this will vary from person to person and how they maintain their tank. But for the most part, a healthy ecosystem for a turtle, a healthy aquarium or a healthy turtle tank, whatever you wanna call it, should not have this overwhelming noticeable odor. Now it might kind of smell like there's a box of water in your house. I don't know if some people can really smell that. But if you're keeping your tank clean, your house should not smell like a swamp. Some people have said that, you know, turtle tanks kind of smell briny or whatever, but it should not be this overwhelming scent. It shouldn't smell like a wet dog because you should be keeping it clean and that smell is usually caused by things decomposing in the tank or whatnot. So if you're doing water changes, really your turtle tank 
should not smell that bad especially if you're just running like this like sometimes when you do a water change it'll release an odor but usually it should not smell just keep up a good schedule with water changes be that weekly bi-weekly um, every few weeks changing out 20 to 40 percent of the water maybe even 50 percent people have different schedules but as long as you're keeping that tank clean it shouldn't smell so anyways that is what I have to say about salmonella and turtles being dirty and smelling I hope that this helps some of you yeah let me know your thoughts down below have your turtle tanks smelled have you ever known anyone who has gotten salmonella from a turtle Anyway, leave those down below in the comments. If you guys did enjoy this video, feel free to drop a thumbs up down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you all next Friday. Have a totally awesome day. Bye-bye.